Namaste everyone and welcome back to my channel. Did you know that we take around 23,000 breaths in a day? That's right, and most of them go unnoticed because of all the other activities that keep our mind busy through the day. Now, taking time out every single day, even if it just means five to 10 minutes a day, to breathe with conscious awareness has profound benefits, not only for the body, but also for the mind. In this video, I'll be sharing with you one pranayam or a breathing technique that helps to increase lung capacity, improve oxygenation of the blood and promote full breathing. It is known as the Dirgha Pranayam or the three-step full yogic breath. This breathing technique engages the diaphragm and the intercostal chest muscles and that helps to gently stimulate the heart, the digestive and the abdominal organs. Now, when we take shallow breaths or tense breaths, we promote activity of our sympathetic nervous system, which is also known as the stress, flight or fight response in the body. Deep, slow and controlled breathing patterns promote parasympathetic nervous system activity, which is also commonly referred to as the relaxation response in the body which means that this helps to release stress and decrease its effects on the body. Now we're going to practice this breathing technique together step by step. If you have any heart conditions or suffer from asthma, shortness of breath or any other uh, health conditions, please do visit and consult your doctor before starting any new breathing pattern or breathing exercise. Now let's find our comfortable seat. If you're seated on the floor, I do recommend that you place a cushion underneath your sitting bones like I'm doing. And that just helps to relax the hip flexor muscles and aids in finding a tall spine a little more easily. Good, so once we've got this, we're going to just allow the arms to flow freely from the shoulders, relaxing the shoulders and let the hands just rest wherever they lie comfortably on your legs. Just begin by gently closing the eyes and noticing your breath. Notice how you're breathing. Do you find any shallow breaths? Do you find any rough edges in your breaths? See if you can smoothen them out. Just take in natural breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. And then once we've got this, we're going to blink our eyes to open if they're still closed. And we're going to begin with the first step. So like I said, it's a three step breathing, which means that we're going to expand three areas of our torso, the belly, the rib cage, and the chest. But we're going to do it step by step. So just so that you understand what we're exactly doing. Bring the hands onto your belly to begin with. Fingertips are towards the center and fingertips are touching, all right? Now, I want you to imagine inflating a balloon in the belly with your inhale. Send your breath all the way down into the belly. Inhale, inflate that balloon. Feel the fingertips slide away as you do so. And as you exhale, feel the fingertips slide closer in and the belly button goes in towards the spine. Let's do that two more times together. Inhale, inflate that balloon, expand the belly. Forward, sideways, and then exhale out completely. Feel the belly button go in towards the spine. Now, as much as you're expanding, see how much you can expand Bell on the out breath without straining at all just noticing here good once we've done this we're going to move on to the second step which is the rib cage now bring your hands to your rib cage a good indication is to have the pinky fingers just float where the uh, rib cage ends all right so once again fingertips are touching now one, when we inhale, we want to feel the fingertips slide apart because we're expanding the rib cage forward and sideways, all right? So let's do that together. Inhale, feel the rib cage expand. And exhale, feel the fingertips come back together. Good. 
Now, I want you to think with every inhale of filling up your body from the bottom up. So we're going to inhale, send the breath into the belly, just like we started off. So expand the belly and then continue your inhalation towards the rib cage and then feel your rib cage expand. All right. So hands on the rib cage, inhale, follow your breath as it goes all the way down into the belly, expand the belly and then keep inhaling and expand the rib cage. And exhale, feel the rib cage drop first, feel the ribs connect towards the center and then expel the air out from your belly. Good, so once again, with every inhale, we're filling up the body from the bottom up and with every exhale, we're expelling the breath out from the top towards the bottom. All right, so now we've done belly, rib cage. We're going to move on to the third step, which is our chest. So bring your hands onto the chest. All right, now your hands should be able to touch your uh, collarbones or the clavicle. Right, so once again, you're going to breathe into the belly, fill up the rib cage, continue inhaling, and fill up the chest now. Feel the collarbones rise. And as you exhale, like I said, we start from the top when we exhale. So feel the chest drop, the rib cage drop, and then the belly drop. All right? So let's start that once again together. Inhale into the belly. Continue filling up your body into the rib cage. Expand the ribs. Lift the chest as you inhale and expand through the chest. And as you exhale, start from the top. So let the chest drop, let the rib cage drop, and then the belly button goes in towards the spine. Good job. Go at your own pace and do it once again. Inhale, belly, rib cage, chest, exhale, chest, rib cage, belly. Good. And once you're done with that last round, release the hands. And now we're going to do this once again. You can either keep your hands wherever they lie comfortably on your legs, or if you want to still feel that movement, you can keep your left hand on the belly and right hand on the chest. This really helps to feel the movement and kind of guide our breath where, you, where we want it to go. All right, now as you do so, remind yourself to keep a tall spine, all right? Keep the legs relaxed, keep the facial muscles relaxed, and fill up the body from the bottom up with the inhale and then expel the breath out from the top towards the bottom. All right? And follow the journey of your breath. Okay? So if you have your hands on your belly, on your chest, let's begin. Inhale, fill up the space underneath your left hand. Expand the belly. Let your breath rise through the spine, along the spine. Filling up the ribs and the chest and then exhaling, fi fi feeling the chest drop, the rib cage drop and the belly drop. Take maybe two more breaths like this at your own pace. Feel the breath rise along the spine and then exhale fully out. Whenever you're expanding, think of expanding forward and sideways. Promoting a full breath. And once you're done, you can release the hands. Keep your eyes closed and take a moment to allow your breath to come back to its natural rhythm. Notice how you feel with just a few rounds of this full breathing. Notice if your body feels more at ease, relaxed, maybe your mind even feels relaxed and free of tension. And then once you feel your breath 
has come back to its natural rhythm, you can blink your eyes to open. Thank you very much for following me through this breathing exercise. I hope that it was useful. Please do practice this on an empty stomach or at least keep a gap of two to three hours between your meals and your breathing practices. Please do share this with anyone who could benefit from this and do subscribe to my channel to see more of such videos. Thank you very much once again. Have a 